Hi everybody, so today we're going to talk about envelopes and there may come a time when you need to send an actual physical uh, envelope or uh, do a big mailing. This still happens today. Direct mail is still very effective because not a lot of people are doing it. Now, just keep in mind that with direct mail, about 50% of the success of your mailing has to do with the quality of your list. So that means the quality of the addresses, the quality of the names, are they relevant to your particular offer? Yeah. For example, if you have, if you're selling machinery for, I don't know, agriculture, yeah, and you send your mailing in downtown Toronto, in a big city, that's not going to work well. Yeah. You need to send your direct mail to the homes of the farmers that are going to be buying this uh, machinery. Yeah, so you have to have addresses of farmers. You can't just send it to anybody, right? And um, that means that you have to usually rent these lists of addresses. Yeah, you rent them from a list broker. The list broker gives you what a number of addresses and then you are allowed to use them once, twice, three times, whatever is th in the contract. Now, the problem is that it's unfortunate, but a lot of list brokers are horrible. They're borderline dishonest. Yeah. They want to try to get as big a fee right now instead of building a relationship. Let's say that you're a small business and this list broker doesn't have a list that works for you he knows that but he's going to sell it to you anyway because that's the list he has yeah he's not going to tell you okay listen i don't have the right list for you but i can help you find that right list for you just remember you know remember me the next time that you need to use direct mail and then i can you know, building a relationship with the person, even if you don't have the actual product that they need. Yeah. So a lot of people um, spend money on direct mail and they lose big time. Yeah. So that's one very important part of your of the su success of your mailing. The other extremely important part is you know what product are you selling is your offer uh, an offer in advertising is the combination of product price guarantee everything that goes into the um, into the the conditions of what you're selling yeah so for example a car with a three-year warranty at twenty thousand dollars um you know free financing that's though all those things are your offer basically yeah so you have to have an interesting offer yeah if you have an offer that is not interesting that doesn't sell well yeah then there is no n no list broker that can save you and there's no copywriter that can save you yeah no list is good enough for a bad offer and also um, no copywriter is good enough to save a bad product or a bad offer yeah so a good list a good offer and then once you have that then maybe you can use direct mail yeah successfully and then the first step uh, when you are um, organizing your package is you have to decide what type of an envelope you are going to use. Yeah, The best option, if you have the money, is to go FedEx. Um, FedEx has an open rate of 100%. Any People just don't throw away a FedEx package. 
Yeah, you can you can buy the cheapest, the slowest FedEx that is not so horribly expensive. Yeah, it doesn't have to be overnight, but as long as it has that FedEx envelope, people are gonna open it. Yeah, in Canada, I think right now we don't have FedEx, but we have other options that are also recognizable. UPS is not one of them, but there are other options that have really, um, yeah, look at the envelopes that they're going to use, yeah? And if it's just a brown UPS envelope, that doesn't look very attractive. But the FedEx thing with the eagle, uh, that that's fantastic, and it has 100% open rate. It's amazing. Another type of envelope that you can use, and this is, um, I have to give credit to genius copywriter and advertiser Gary Halbert. If you get any of Gary Halbert's books, you are going to learn a lot. He, uh, he has passed away now, but his sons are still marketing his materials and books. So Gary Halbert, um, he didn't like envelopes that had, uh, you know, a, a headline, like the envelope that you can see now in your screen. He would have normal envelopes uh, with a handwritten address and with a stamp that was glued with glue or, or spit, you know, just an envelope that looked like it was put together at home, yeah? Uh, not a commercial looking envelope with the little window with the cellophane, like in this, this envelope, I don't know if you can see here in the bottom right, it has this, uh, there's a name for this obviously, uh, this opening where you can see the address that is printed on the, on the letter. And um, yeah, all that screams corporate, right? So uh, Gary Halbert was a little sneaky, right? He would, he would send you a letter that looked, he would, sorry, he would send you an envelope like that looked like it was a personal letter and then the letter inside the envelope also looked like a personal letter. He used typewriter fonts and then he would have an extra envelope inside the envelope uh, next to the letter that says, please open this after you have read the letter. Don't open this before reading the letter. So he would have a letter that looked like a letter from, you know, person to person. It didn't look like an ad. And it was very persuasive, obviously, and then created lots of curiosity. And then he would say, yes, and now please go ahead and open the envelope the other envelope and then in that other the second envelope there would be a sales letter a proper sales letter yeah but at the beginning he got the person to open the envelope by thinking that it was a normal letter then it's a normal letter explaining the offer without being salesy just explaining it like like uh, from person to person and then finally at the end, you would have, you know, the the sales letter. He was a genius, and this worked very well for him. So how could you use this? Let's say that you are selling an item that is relatively expensive and that only a few people in the country buy this item. Let's say that you're selling those huge bulldozers for gold mines, yeah? And there are only about 10 companies in the country that have gold mines, yeah? So you, you only have 10 prospects, 10 engineers that you need to send this letter to, yeah? So you could use, obviously, FedEx. It wouldn't be too expensive because you're only mailing a handful of people. And then you could also use you know, the, the regular letter, looking letter, like, like uh, Gary Halbert, and you probably would not use uh, an envelope with a sales message like the one in the screen now, yeah? 
Not to say that the letter on the screen is bad. Actually, this is another awesome um, envelope we're going to talk about, the one on the screen. Um, it was a very, very successful, actually both envelopes. There's two envelopes here on the screen, one here and one here. Yeah, they're both extremely successful. They, um, they sold thousands and thousands of books, probably hundreds of thousands of books. And um, yeah, they're just the opposite, right? They, they are telling you right away what it's all about, but the headline is so incredible. So um, the promise is so big and so interesting that I don't know, but I would open this envelope. If I receive this envelope, let me read the headline. Free, how to rub your stomach away. Now, I'm a portly individual. You could call me fat. And if I could learn for free how to rub my stomach away, boy, I would do it. I, w I'm, I would definitely open this envelope. I have nothing to lose, yeah? So this is... This incredible envelope is by, again, Eugene Schwartz, genius copywriter. Now, we have this other envelope. Now, this is the back of the envelope. You have to, if you're going to do one of these envelopes, you have to print both the front and back of the envelope. I don't know if these two envelopes are just one envelope. Yeah, and you have two different headlines. So the first one is rub your stomach away and the one is burn disease out of your body. Maybe these two treatments were inside the same book and this is just one envelope. Very interesting, very well done. Uh, the envelope looks amazing because it's so easy to read and it's so interesting. And he has the proof element right there how modern Chinese medicine helps both men and women. Modern Chinese medicine, actually Chinese medicine in general has a, a good reputation worldwide. So it's a proof element, yeah? Very interesting envelopes. There you have it. Three different ways of um, tackling the envelope thing. Now guys, I have a free book and the link is in the description. You can download it. Top 10, um, top 10 reasons for successful advertising. And I am the only one doing this type of content here on YouTube. This detailed advertising content is nowhere else to be seen. So if you want to learn how to make more money with your ads, you can subscribe. Thank you.